Welcome to part 2 of the series of running LLMs locally using Olama. Without wasting your precious time, I will start explaining how you can use Olama inside Google Colab for prototyping and testing your code. Let's get started. Before beginning, there is one thing you have to make sure. And that's the main reason we are even using the Google Colab in the first place. Change the run type to GPU. I always make this mistake, so don't try to make this mistake. And for that, go to the RAM disk option and click on change run type and select the option T4 GPU. Click on OK, save. To work with Olama API inside Google Colab, first we need to install a package named Colab Extern which is a package that provides a terminal interface and that allows us to run shell commands directly inside Colab. To install the Colab extern, the command will be pip install Colab extern. The installation is complete. Now we have to load the Colab extern. And for that, the command is percentage load underscore ext Colab extern. Run the command. First, we install the Colab extern, load the Colab extern. Next, we have to launch the extern in the terminal. To launch, the command is percentage extern. Let's try to load. You can see this interface. This will allow us to directly run shell commands inside Colab. In this terminal, first we have to install the Olama and then we have to serve the Olama. So for that, the command is cur minus fs sl https olama.com slash install dot sh slash sh now let's try to run the commands this will install the olama into our google collab instance don't try to run this in the google collab cells we, it should be run inside the x term if you're trying to run inside the cells it won't work now we have to serve the olama to serve the command is olama serve so just type olama serve and just click enter when you type the olama serve command and you got this output that is the your new public key and your ssh information that means your olama is working now the only thing we have to do is the download models before that we need to test whether we can access the olama using olama command inside our google Colab. for that you can just type in olama just exclamation mark and olama you can see the usage every every information that means the olama is installed in our google Colab. Since the environment is set up, let's pull a simple LLM model that is tiny llama from the Olama website. For that, the command is Olama pull tiny llama. The tiny llama is a model which is lightweight and good for prototyping and developing. On the bottom part, if you see success, that means the model is downloaded. We need to verify whether our model is inside our instance, right? So for that, the command will be Olama list. Let's type in Olama list. See the output. It says tiny llama latest 637 MB. We got LLMs inside Google Colab. Now all we have to do is to test whether our model is working or no. For that, we'll be using a simple call command. So we got the call command here, and then we have the URL HTTP localhost 111434. The 11434 is the Olama's local port, and the endpoint will be API slash generate. And we got the minus D flag, and here we have some parameters, which is important parameters. And the first parameters will be the model name. Since we only have the tiny llama model, we just put this name. If we have different models you can replace this with your models your downloaded model then we got the prompt and our prompt is why is the sky blue and the last parameter is the stream which is false let's try to run this command and whether we are getting an output or no since we are using the google collab gpu it might take only around five to six seconds to get the response if we are using cpu it might take a long time make sure you are using the gpu provided by the google collab environment and not cpu let's try to read the output provided by our local LLM. There are many factors that contribute to the blue color of the sky, including the sun's rays, clouds, and atmosphere are a few possible explanations. The sunlight, the sun is a major contributor to the blue color of the sky. It gives a fairly good output considering how, how small the model is. This means our model is working and we can prototype with our own Python files or Python code. Let's try to copy paste code from the part one and let's test whether it will work in the Google Colab or no. I have a quote from my previous projects where I explain this code in detail. Even though I'll explain the code in a brief, 
to check whether our model is working or not also i will link a card on top so the person who has not watched the part one of the video can go and watch and see the explanation of this code in detail so the first line we are just importing the request library and this library help us to make http requests and next we have the url and in the url we have the local host 11334 and the endpoint api slash generate we have different endpoints such as chat as well as different other but for this project we'll be using the generate and then we have the data in the json format this will be the this will be the content that will be sending along post requests data payload containing the model name our prompt and it could contain some more parameters but here our third parameter is stream which is stated as false and next we got headers headers is nothing but an information along the request saying that that it is in json format and if so we have to state that what type of data we are sending towards the server that's why we have explained we have stated here our content type is application slash json we call the request library and then we call the post function from the request library and we got the url the url is here we, and the url contain our the endpoint that is slash generate and then we got the json and the json is the data and the data contains our model name our prompt and other parameters and then we got headers so that's it we just explained till here with everything set up we can now send the request so here we are sending the request and we will wait for the response and if the response is 200 that means server got our request and server responded with an information and that information contain our answers in here the in the value variable we are converting the response into a json format from that json format we are just printing out the response value and that response value contains our long answer if we have any errors this will print out that error if we are success that means our end air project is working and you can prototype with different codes let's try running this code i think within five or six seconds we got the output because we are using the gpu provided by the google collab the question is what is large language models let's try to read the response so the large language models llms are artificial intelligence models that can generate text by interpreting and synthesizing information from multiple sources llms are built using large data set of textual data including news articles blog posts reviews and other types of content we actually got a fairly good response from such a small model and that's a wrap in this project we have walked through the process of downloading olama setting up Olama local API, calling the terminal commands, as well as prototyping using the Python code. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that you